Parkinson's disease drugs may be targeting dopamine in the wrong way, here is what happened, and why it matters. For decades, textbooks claimed that quick bursts of dopamine in the brain act like a gas pedal for movement, a theory that shaped how we treat Parkinson's disease. On December 22, 2025, McGill University researchers reported mouse experiments that challenged this story. They recorded dopamine signals in a motor region of the brain, while mice pressed levers and used optogenetics to flip dopamine neurons on and off in sub-second bursts. They found that those rapid dopamine spikes were neither consistent nor strongly linked to how fast or forcefully the animals moved. Even when the scientists artificially boosted dopamine right as a movement occurred, the vigor of that movement barely changed. What mattered instead was the slow background tone of dopamine in the brain. When this baseline level dropped, movements became small and sluggish. When it was restored with the drug levodopa, movements improved even though the classic moment-to-moment -moment spikes did not return. This suggests levodopa works mainly by re-establishing a permissive chemical environment rather than mimicking natural dopamine bursts. Future therapies might therefore focus on stabilizing dopamine levels over time, potentially reducing side effects like dyskinesias. I think this result quietly rewrites a core chapter of neuroscience, reminding us that elegant theories can be wrong for years. It also implies that re-engineering how and when we deliver dopamine drugs could buy patients better quality of life without entirely new medicines.